What's going on, y'all? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com, and today, this is Crystal. I'm Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Crystal Sykes, LadySavage.com. And today, we are making some broccoli cheddar soup. Broccoli cheddar chicken soup. Broccoli cheddar chicken cheese soup. Yeah. Get out of here. All right. Um, what we got here, babe? All right, so we'll just tell you guys what we have of each thing and then we will go ahead and make it. So we have a cup and a half of bone broth. Um, it's not, it's not, it's the real good bone broth. I, Gelatinous. I really like to use good, good bone broth even in my soup recipes and things like that. Um, we have three quarters a cup of a heavy cream. We have some eight, broccoli. Eight cups of broccoli. You can do like between eight and 10 cups. This is two pounds of chicken. I have already cooked this chicken. Um, I actually just stuck it in the Instant Pot and um, and let it go for 15 minutes. And then that was it. It was on manual for 15 minutes. Any water or um, broth or anything? Yeah, I put a, I just put a little bit of broth in there so it wasn't directly um, on the like skillet part of the Instant Pot. So, um, this was just a little bit of broth, but then I strained out the broth. I didn't really need it for right now. You can keep it, and then you can ha don't have to add extra. But two pounds of chicken. Um, this is eight ounces of cheese. Eight point three four ounces of cheese now, yep. because <laughs> or seven point I guess. Um, and then this is just one pack of the cream cheese, so about eight ounces there. And then we have some seasonings. So the first thing that we're gonna do is turn this guy on. Use your regular stove top. Melt the cheese. Um, we're going to put the, we're gonna warm up the bone broth first. And then we're gonna add the cream cheese to the bone broth once it's slightly warm to melt down the cream cheese. Then we'll add the regular cheese as well. Put this in now. Sure. I like to keep the cream cheese and the cheese into little chunks. It makes it easier to break down in there. And the cream cheese is not going to like melt into it. It's gonna be a little bit chunky, but once you mix it into all into the Instant Pot, it will blend just fine. So don't worry about getting it like too, too creamy. There's gonna be chunks of cream cheese in there, so. I go ahead and add the cheese in there and then I'm gonna turn this down just oh, slightly. And again, the whole purpose of this is just to get it to melt before you throw it in the Instant Pot. I just like to have it almost like a sauce that I'm adding to it, rather than like just chunks of cheese and everything thrown, thrown directly in there. All right, so that is pretty much melted together. So what I'm gonna do is open up the Instant Pot and I'm gonna add this chicken and the broccoli to the Instant Pot. And I'm just going to try to mix a little bit of both so that it's well blended. And you really can probably leave the chicken uncooked, but I'm weird about chicken and I need to like make sure that it's cooked before I <laughs> add it to any recipe. So that's why I cooked mine ahead of time. But a lot of times, I can just cook it directly in the Instant Pot and then just add everything to it. Um, I just took it out of the Instant Pot just to make it easier for you guys to see what we were doing. Put this in there now? Um, I'm gonna add a few seasonings here. So we have some Redmond Real Salt. And some garlic powder. And I just season it as I like. I don't, I'm not real picky about how much to add. Um, and then onion powder. Hip cream. Oh, you can actually add that to the, mm -hmm, and we'll turn it off. I try not to put the heavy cream in there early because I don't want it to curdle and get all gross. And then this is just some black pepper. All right, go ahead and add that to it. And a lot of times when I'm making this for Robert and I, 
I usually double the recipe um, and that way um, yeah and that way it's a little bit more for us so that we can put it in the freezer it does really well in the freezer um, using it for another an additional meal or whatnot man this is some super soupy this <laughs> All right, so I'm just mixing this all around so that way when it's um, doing its thing in the Instant Pot, it's just nice and mixed together. Um, so that should be good. We are going to put the lid on this guy. Close that up. And then I just press the soup broth and it says 30 minutes. So we're going to have to, we're going to come back in 30 plus minutes because it also has to release as well. That should be good. Good to go here in just a couple minutes. We are back, y'all. The the soup has been brewing in the Instant Pot for 30 minutes and then it did its slow release, cracking the top off of this thing. And we're going to scoop us up some, I guess Crystal's going to scoop oh, us up Oh, I'm just going to mix it around a little bit first. Oh man, that looks good. And creamy and delicious. Mm. Oh, it smells good. We smell. It smell good. All right, you want me to give us some? It's gonna be hot. I like it when you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. Ooh la la. Yeah, guys, this is gonna be so good. I have made this probably like every other week. Yeah, we've been. This has been our go-to. Yeah, <clears throat> it's really easy to meal prep. Um, again, like I usually make twice the amount of this, twice the amount as this one, um, and it's so good. And it lasts a couple nights, so that we can have it like on Monday night and Wednesday night, so on. All right, get you a spoonful there. And what I've been doing, this is kind of like meal prep hack here. If we, need, we have any leftovers, like if we've got leftover chicken from something else, leftover sausage, whatever, I just cut it up into pieces and then mix it in with this. Mm -hmm. That way it's it, like it's an easy for leftover meal as well. Yeah, you don't have any waste going on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. hot. A little hot. <clears throat> little hot. Need some chicken on this bite. Pretty good though. Yeah, that's delicious. So, we like this a lot. Um, <clears throat> Clearly, if you can't have dairy, this is not going to be a recipe for you. But if, if you, you can, can, if you can handle dairy, there's mm -hmm. a lot of uh, cream cheese, heavy cream, high protein, high fat cheese in there. But if you're only having it, you know, once or twice or whatever, it's pretty good. Or um, I also love to. Uh, pair like a chaffle sandwich with this and it's super good soup and sandwich style yeah so. all right we're gonna keep diving in y'all so if you're wanting the um, I got this bite just for you Thanks. Yeah. so if you want to get the full macro breakdown the full recipe breakdown check out the reps the website check out the recipe on the website ketosavage.com